Hello, this is Dr. Mahalski, and just wanted to say that when Dr. Grace and I started talking about maybe sharing some information with you, my first thought was, well, I've been an instructor here at UTA for 10 years, so let me talk about one of my classes. And he was thinking, well, they might be more interested in some things about, say, negotiation and salary negotiation when they're starting their jobs. And so we decided to put a little bit of both together. I'm going to talk a little bit about the class and only a little bit about negotiation, but maybe just introduce some of the thoughts around it. I spent 25 plus years in corporate America. The first organization I was with was like a Fortune 50 company, um, and so really large. And then the next one was like a Fortune 150 company, so still pretty large. And we had processes that we were really concerned about making sure that we knew what was important for success within our organization. What were the factors that contributed to our organization's success? And therefore, we developed a process for evaluating our jobs against those factors so that we understood what I'll call an internal hierarchy, which jobs should be paid more, which jobs should be paid less. And then with that, we also took a look at where individuals were being paid relative to the competition and with that market for our jobs and what the organization was paying individuals, all of this went into account when we were looking at applicants. And so when an individual came to us and we interviewed them, we liked them, we liked their skill set, we spent time understanding where our existing employees who were doing similar work, similar jobs were being paid, and where this person's skill set was. And we didn't go out and try to offer them the lowest possible salary that we could. We wanted to offer them a fair salary that would fit into our pay structure. And so part of doing that was then us assessing their skill set and assessing our existing employees, and we'd make an offer. So we didn't really want to go into a lot of negotiation. What we wanted to do was to fit that fair salary into our structure. And if the individual came back and said, I really need a little more money here, then what we generally did is we went and looked at our existing employees and what they were being paid to see if there was any room to make a movement because as I said, if we're going to have these employees and our existing employees train these new hires, then we certainly don't want the new hire earning more than existing employees who already have proven performance. But if there was room, we might make adjustment to our salary offer. If, unfortunately, there was no room or if there was some room but maybe not what the applicant was asking for, we might make a slight change in the salary offer, but then we'd look at other things to try to negotiate. We'd look at things like, do we have an opportunity to provide a sign-on bonus where the individual could have a, a lump sum payment that would help them decide to come work for our company? Or we might even get into things like negotiating a vacation, the number of vacation days that the individual might have on startup, which is usually a little bit less. And so we would look at other factors, but we went through a process of really trying to make sure that internally we knew which jobs were worth more to us in terms of the value they provided to the organization. We understood how those jobs were paid on the street in terms of the competitive marketplace. And we really looked at how employees existing within the organization and their performance, because we had a pay for performance model, were paid when we were trying to bring in new hires. So I guess I would say what you might think about doing is, yeah, use some of the online services to see if you're even being offered a fair wage. And if not, then maybe you need to try to negotiate that up to what you do determine to be a fair wage. But if it's in the range of a fair wage and you are make an attempt and you don't get movement on salary, maybe you think about, some other things that you might negotiate, like a sign-on bonus, like new, more vacation time. So um, there are other things to think about in that process of negotiation. And, and keep in mind that sometimes the organization may have done what they could given some of the constraints of existing employee salaries. 
So with that, I wish you good luck on all your career aspirations and maybe I'll see you in my class.